Hi hey guys, this is a very direct word for someone. It's very specific, okay? I'm gonna show you a quick video. Please pay very close attention to this video. So I want to just mention something. Did you see that tree being dug out and they were replanting all the trees? Okay, the trees that were there, I'm not sure if they were dead or not, but they were replanting all the trees. Now, I received this word earlier and the word that I received was removal from family, removal from family. And I didn't know what God was trying to say to me. And I did honestly hear family tree, but I wasn't really sure what he was talking about. When I got, saw them doing the work on the neighborhood, God literally told me to start walking around and start paying attention to the types of work that they were doing. And I instantly got the word when I saw these trees and I had to ask the gentleman if I can take a quick video of the tree because the analogy was just perfect, okay? So I just want to say, whoever this word is for, there is going to be a removal from family, okay? And it's not to say that you're going to be removed from everybody in your family, but there's going to be a specific direction. Most of us have already gone through this. Most of us have already gone through this. A lot of us have already been in separation with our family for a very long time. Um, there's a scripture that talks about, you know, when Jesus started to become more advanced in his healing and doing his his work what he's supposed to be doing he had to remove himself from even his family and the hometown that he grew up in because there was many people that doubted him they lacked faith and he was not honored honored in his home his own hometown so whoever this word is for you'll know this is for you because this is not something that you planned on doing but this is something that you may have felt in your spirit that you knew God was going to end up doing because you've been hearing about this happen to a lot of people and you've been hearing about, you know, chosen ones being removed from their very own family in order to break generational curses in order for all that to happen. And you're like, man, this is going to happen to me, but I haven't gotten the call yet from God or I haven't gotten the cue or the confirmation from God to actually start doing it or start removing myself. Right. So it's actually happening to you this season. And what God was showing me with the tree, I don't know why he said propelled. Did you say propelled or perplexed, God? I'm not sure why he said that word. Propelled, perplexed. I don't remember how, I don't know how he said it just now. I don't know if it was propelled or perplexed, but I heard something like that in the spirit, like literally not too long ago, but I wasn't sure which word, propel or perplexed. I'm not sure which one it is. You may know more than me which one it is. But anyways, I just, I just know I heard it in the spirit. Um, did you see... The marking on the old tree the reason why that the the planters marked the tree is because they put a mark on every single tree they're going to remove what ended up happening is that while you were connected to that family tree you've been sealed you've been sealed while you were connected to that family tree and now that it's time for you to operate through God's purpose for your life because you are sealed God has to now remove you from that family tree you see what I'm saying he has to remove you in order to plant a whole new tree which is you he has to plant a whole new tree let me tell you what God did the soil that was there okay if you notice there was a piece or root of the tree sticking out that root has to be dug out so the new tree can go in so the new tree can be formed right the soil was originally supposed to be prosperous okay which means that your family was originally supposed to be prosperous the things that you're going through in your family right now was not supposed to happen the poverty the sicknesses the not being married not being able to succeed whatever generational curses you're breaking it was not supposed to happen it was not supposed to happen somewhere in the bloodline someone tampered with something somewhere in the bloodline there was disobedience the soil wasn't bad because originally God planted that tree, that family tree on good soil. So originally the soil wasn't bad. You know how I always put out videos talking about receiving new soil and God giving us a new seed, a new plant. And this is not your case. 
this is not your case. Your family, your family soil was always good. But somewhere, the tree is the actual family. The foundation, which is the soil, is good. So God has to remove that tree in order to plant a new tree in that soil. And that is what God is doing in your life. He is removing people from you. He is removing the family from you. Or he may be removing you. You are taking someone's position in the family bloodline. It's not to say that your purpose, you stole someone's destiny. No. What it is, is the same opportunity, the same mercy that God is giving you. God has given to someone else in the bloodline. The person in the bloodline did not take their walk with God seriously. They did not answer the call. And somewhere in the bloodline, there was they were tampering with things. Okay? God has sealed you. God has said, I am going to use this son or this daughter and he has removed that family lineage that tree from that soil and he is replanting a new tree and that is you that is you so this is why he has to remove you from the tree that is being removed and replant you into the soil because you are gonna do what it is many people in your family failed to do it was a lack of obedience and somewhere in the bloodline, people did not did not repent and they did not take their walk with God seriously. They did not answer the call. And you are breaking that cycle. You are breaking that cycle. So do not be surprised now if when God um, tells you it's time for you to remove yourself from certain people in your family. Or don't be surprised now when God puts you in separation away from everybody because he is doing it for a reason. If you are also being attacked by your family, if there are people in your family doing witchcraft on you, which many of us have already been through, I've been through that too, so you're hearing from the right person, it is normal. It happens. It's expected. It's expected because there's people in the family that are going to look at you and be like, why did God choose him? Why did God choose her? Why did she or he receive the purpose that they've received? It's not to say God never offered to give others in your family the same opportunity he did he did but a lot of people did not like i said did not take the walk seriously or they were very stubborn he just said wicked whoa very wicked and did not take the call seriously so he has given not only the not only the opportunity to you as well because they've also had the opportunities but he has given you a specific unique purpose because not only now are you cleaning up what happened in the past but you're also having to take care of the new family tree the new generation that is to come and that is your purpose that is your calling so everything is being broken and it starts with you okay so don't be surprised if all of a sudden now God is giving you instructions and telling you hey it's time don't be surprised if you all of a sudden see your very own blood turning against you, your very own blood disliking you and hating you because you are doing something that many of them had the opportunity to do but chose not to do it. You see what I'm saying? So I want to give you this confirmation. Love you guys. Bye.